Hey everyone, it's me, the Otaku Fango, here to review the first episode of, let me see if I can pronounce this right, Libra of the Nil Admandari, or the Japanese title, which is Nil Admandari no Teban Teto Genwaku Kitan. Yeah, this thing has a really weird title, I'm probably going to call it the first one, which Crunchyroll calls it. So, with this first episode though, we have... Hot guys, we have cursed books, we have main protagonist girl, and what else do we have? Her brother committing suicide, or almost committing suicide, and uh, what else? That's about it. So yeah, the show didn't impress me too much, because I had heard good things about it from the, I think it's based off a visual novel, I'm like 100, or I'm at least 99.9% .9 sure it is, considering how this went. Um, so yeah... I don't know, I wasn't really too impressed. It was okay at best. I really like the opening song and the ending song. Those are nice. I mostly like the ending song because fan service. I was kind of surprised. Like, whoa, they're shirtless. Hello. But anyway, um, <laughs> and the opening song's not too bad either. It's very nicely done visually and song-wise. I really liked it. But with the show itself, we have our main character, Sugumi, and she basically has a little brother named Hitagi, or Hita Hitaki, yeah, that guy, um, <laughs> names, man, but, um, has a little brother who basically, like, she's gonna get married, he doesn't like it, he gets a book, wants to commit suicide because of it, and because he said he hated her, blah, 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 and she's also, they're from a rich family and everything, so that's why she's being forced to marry some guy she doesn't know, um, or at least probably doesn't know, at least, because it was like, I think it was that guy, but I'm not 100% sure if it was the Prime Minister's son who tried to commit suicide she was going to marry or not. But, uh, I don't think it was, but I'm not sure, because that would make a lot of sense. But anyway, um, so yeah, as, you know, she goes about everything, she meets these guys from the Imperial something 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 book bureau. I don't know how to pronounce that thing. The thing they call Fukuro is what I'm going to call it, because that was a long title and I'm not going to repeat it. Um, <laughs> so yeah. Um, they come to her and they're like, oh, you can see the aura of the book and stuff because it was on fire. At least she thought it was, but it really wasn't. It's just the aura of the book. And there's these cursed tomes that people kill themselves over and stuff. And I'm just like, okay, cool. I'm here for the hot guys. That's honestly kind of why I watched this because as it dragged on, I'm just like, you know, I'm going to stick around for the hot guys. And Hayato is the hottest, which is the black haired one, which is probably the main guy. Um, <laughs> and for the preview, I saw a bunch of other dudes. And in the opening, I saw a bunch of other dudes. I'm like, that one's probably the flirt. That one's probably the Shota. That one falls into this trope. That one falls into that trope. So we'll have to see if I'm right. I'm kind of curious if I am. But um, as for our first episodes go, it was okay. I enjoyed the animation. The animation's really pretty. Um, also, in the opening and ending, you see this uh, little dog thing with a fluffy tail. I don't know what the heck that thing is, but yeah, that exists. Um, what is this, some magical girl anime now? But anyway, so yeah, that was weird, but overall, it's an okay plot. It's not bad. It's just kind of boring a little bit because it's like oh there's these cursed books who have people kill themselves let's stop it i guess <laughs> that's their plan is to stop that from happening but at the same time i'm like I don't know. I think, honestly, this is something I'm going to watch just for the hot guys. And if it does end up being that, I'll probably stop reviewing it. But I did want to review the first episode just to be like, you know, here's my general thoughts on this. And it was okay. Um... What else is there to this? Um, not much. You know, even she, to the point she cuts her hair, she becomes the typical female reverse harem protagonist, you know, when they have their hair so short and everything. And at least she's better than Yui from Diabolic Lovers. At least she has a personality, thank goodness. <laughs> oh, man. But I am kind of curious to see how this goes, but it's probably going to end up being kind of boring. It might not be. I'm not 100% sure. But what do you guys think of the first episode of Libra of the whatever the heck? <laughs> Libra of the Nil Admirai, I don't even know how to pronounce that, like, I'm looking at, I don't, I don't even know, but anyway, what'd you guys think, and I'll see you guys in one of our IV next, bye!